All right. Uh, well, this one's going to be about getting rid of a menacing little substance called dactyl. It's uh, it's kind of um something that is like a com extra component that is given off along with alcohol when um when the yeast do their thing in there. But uh, basically, it's uh, it'll add kind of a a hint of a butterscotchy or a buttery flavor to your beer when lagering it, because uh, the the yeast will will only eat the extract and um, it'll leave that behind and because it, it's going so slow. So one of the tricks to get rid of it is is in between racking is to um, is to just go ahead and warm your lager up from I was fermenting it at approximately 50 degrees for about over probably two and a half weeks in the primary fermenter. It began fermenting on the 16th of October. Um, it continued to ferment pretty steadily till uh, till about a few days ago. Today's the the third, and uh, it stopped fermenting on the 31st. So it fermented for a good uh, 15 days, and then it leveled off when it was at 15 degrees, or excuse me, 50 degrees. So I brought it out here, and I'm going to warm it up because I'm getting ready to rack it into my secondary fermenter and really lager it down to as low as I can possibly get it. I'm thinking. For now, I, I could probably get it down to 40. But uh, what they recommend doing is bringing the temperature of your beer up to about 63 to 60. You don't want to go any warmer than 70. Around 65 is what I'm hoping for. So I brought it out here, uh, hoping to achieve that temperature. Um, it'll probably be a little bit. Right now it's warmed up to ooh, we're about probably 55 degrees right here on the side of the glass. My little, my little uh, thermometer with the suction cup there, but um, so yeah, that's, that's what we're doing right now. Uh, basically, what's happening is now the bacteria is becoming active again, as you see. Now that they're releasing gases, uh, they're they're fermenting again because they're they're a pretty uh, pretty healthy young bacteria still. But um, basically, what they're doing now is they're going to eat that bacteal up, that dactyl up, and then. Um, they're gonna actually produce a little bit more alcohol. They're eating that up as food, and uh, they're gonna clean that out for me. So, yep, I'm gonna leave it, leave it out here at this temperature for only about probably 48 to 72 hours approximately. So I brought it out actually uh, yesterday around this time. So it's been out here for about uh, 12. Oh, not this time. It's, I brought it out here probably late in the afternoon. So it's probably it's been it's been out of the cold bin. And uh, in the warmer air here for probably around around uh, like 18 hours. So it's uh, temperatures rising there. It'll take a little while for that that six gallons of brew there to to warm up. But uh, yep, hopefully once it's around 65 degrees or so, which I would say well, it's maybe not that warm down here. It's probably like it's definitely above 60 though. So once we get above that, I'll let it sit at that for approximately 48 hours. I don't want to let it out here too long. Then I'll rack it into my secondary fermenter, and then I'll go back into the cold bin, back into the into the cooler there, and uh, take it right back down to lagering temp, and then I'll lager it for a number of weeks, probably four to six, I'm thinking. Hopefully I can get six out of it, but I want to be able to bottle it and still have it drinkable, ready to drink by Christmas time. So I'm actually, uh, yeah, I could probably pull that off yet. But it's going to be kind of tight with the bottling. It'll be right around Christmas time. I'd rather have it a little bit before, but we'll see. But yep, this is Dactyl Rest, it's called. That's what I'm doing right now. So this is going to take out the Dactyl's uh, buttery or butterscotchy kind of aftertaste that I would leave in the beer. Right now the yeast is cleaning that up for me. So, all right, Colbin Brewery signing out.